right, what's up guys? So, if you remember in the video I did, not the last one, but I think the video before that, I was talking about my Jeep and how I plan on keeping it for at least like right now. I don't plan on like upgrading it or anything like that or trading it, trading it in um, for the immediate future. The immediate future, my goals for right now were to just kind of make it a better daily driver and to kind of make it more comfortable just for commuting and driving and, you know, just the normal type of stuff. So, with that in mind, I did a couple things. A couple things I didn't really film too much about. First thing that I did is... Now, I know this isn't much, but the actual steering wheel was just so, like... I don't know. Steering wheels and these things, they're, like, so old school. Just getting, like, a normal... Uh, this is a, like, official, like, a Jeep, like, I guess, steering wheel cover. This actually helps out a lot. One thing I will say, I got this off of Amazon. I, I forgot how much it was. It wasn't really expensive at all. This was probably the hardest thing to put on the entire Jeep as far as like physical like strength and like stretching. This, when I first saw this size when it came in the mail, it seemed a lot smaller than the actual, you know, uh, wheel size. But all the reviews said that it will fit. You have to kind of stretch it. And yeah, that's what I did. So I kind of had to like put it on one side and like literally like I was in the passenger seat stretching this completely out to try to make it fit over here but now that it's on here it fits perfectly fine um i do want to kind of put this up on top so it's like you know the correct way but i'm kind of letting this stretch out a little bit more before i try to move it around too much but yeah just having this on it helps out a lot it makes the steering wheel feel that much better and uh yeah just just that little small thing it's something that you touch every time that you're in the vehicle so you kind of want that to be a nice like padding the second thing that I did was just adding in some little extra padding right here on your like little armrest. So as you can see, so I just installed the Rugged Ridge like uh, I guess center console like little pad. This is just it's like on with 3M tape, so it's not you know nothing crazy, but uh, this feels a lot better. I mean it's it's still like it's kind of it looks rugged, but it, it it feels a lot better than. Uh, the stock center console so just having this little extra padding on here plus it's black and it kind of matches the seat covers um so yeah so i kind of like that it's i don't know it's a simple little upgrade that you can do it doesn't cost that much but it does help out a lot just kind of make the front look a little bit better and then the final thing that i did so far was i got new floor mats for the front now i actually when i was looking online i ordered floor mats for the 2000 and 13 through you know 17 model year uh, interiors so the floor mats are a little bit different but they still kind of fit but when I was trying to find like the older style uh, interiors that would match it perfectly like there wasn't that many out there and I kind of really wanted one that had the tire tread so I just bought these ones but they seem to fit I mean they don't fit perfectly because it's not the same interior but they fit well enough that and, and I think it looks cool so yeah so overall with those quick little things I think I made the front or the interior look a lot better just inside the meantime um so yeah so i'm happy about that but now i will say the one thing that i was kind of uh you know i really wanted to upgrade and really kind of do was redo my like center phone mount system even though i do plan on getting a new radio eventually but i don't know for right now using my phone is kind of fine i do have to get a new bluetooth receiver because the bluetooth receiver that i bought for some reason it just died on me um so i've been using like a normal aux cord for right now but that's getting really like just cumbersome i don't know i need to get a new like radio s situation because right now that's is that's like my number one thing that i'm becoming annoyed with but in the meantime actually um a company reached out to me so big thanks to pro clip usa for uh kind of sponsoring this video sending me out some products um uh yeah so they essentially make like phone mount systems custom phone mount systems for different cars and they do one for jeeps as well so uh yeah they sent me a package i'm gonna kind of open it up right now and see what's in here but uh it should be a phone mount system that fits my jeep now the system that i was running before it was the rugged ridge center console like uh kit which i did a video installing that but i'll show you guys that right now essentially this this is the center console kit um so you can essentially like put your phone in here and you know it gives you a little more storage versus just having the normal like flat top one thing i don't really like as you can see right there this is starting to become like it's starting to wear out a bit i mean you can tighten this up i believe up there but this just it's starting to just wear out it's not exactly the best and actually part of the like plastic trim as you can tell right there that broke off i mean it'll still hold your phone but it's coming a little more flimsier and 
I mean, when it works, it works well, but it's just like this is starting to uh, definitely show its, I don't know. It's starting to show some age, and uh, I wanna try something a little bit different. Now, the company said that the foam mount system should work with the stock unit. So I don't know if this will work with this, but I do have the spare or the original piece. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't, I can install the original piece and just work with the foam mount system. But if not, I'll just keep this on. Cause I do like having the storage up here. You can put stuff up here. That's kind of nice. It's just that this is starting to wear out. Um, but yeah, so let's open up this package. So, well, first things first. Oh, got a nice care package from them as well. Say thank you. I think this, this is a shirt. Nice with some stickers. I would definitely be putting these stickers on my back uh, tailgate, which I'm, I, that's what I want to do actually. I've been seeing a lot of people do that. They put like stickers inside the inside of their tailgate. So when they open it up, they have stickers on it. I kind of like the way that looks, so I might do that. So uh, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll leave their Instagram and their links down below. So if you guys are interested, check out that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, just ch check them out. As you guys can see, this is the kit itself. So, it's like a phone mount system, and my initial thoughts, looks a lot beefier than the system that I'm running right now. So it looks like this is the actual part that attaches to the, uh, I guess, center console. I believe it fits, like, it sits up here, so it sits off to the side. I think I, you may be able to do it on either side. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out as I open this stuff up. But yeah, I want to open this stuff up and see exactly how does this fit, how does this work. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what are my thoughts on it. Yeah, it has some directions in here right now. So yeah, so I'm going to open this up, see how it fits. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in. All right, what's up guys? I realized I didn't finish out this video, so I figured I should do it right now. Um, yeah, so I did finish the install of the phone mount system onto the G. Now, I do want to say a quick disclaimer. Uh, this is supposed to work with the stock, uh, I guess, top unit here. I was going to put back on the stock one, but for some reason I can't find it. So, I was able to make it work with this, but I will say I do like the way this phone mount works, or how the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. Um, and it's pretty nice because you, you actually have to like kind of like set it to the size of your phone. So when your phone's in there, it's really snug. It's not moving around at all versus with this guy. This guy broke, which I talked about before, but I don't know. Overall, I, I do like the design and like how this looks. You can put it on, on this side or on the passenger side. I chose this side, obviously, because I'm on you know the driver's side. But yeah, it's going to be a nice addition to the Jeep. And I think it kind of helps out, just finishes up, trying to... I don't know, just all the little bits that I've been doing to the Jeep, trying to make, just trying to make everything much more daily driver, like, just a little bit nicer in here. I think this helps out with that. Um, so, yeah, so that's a nice addition to the whole cockpit area and just the way everything looks. But, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done a ton of videos on this Jeep. If you're interested in any type of product that I have inside the Jeep, I've done all the videos for everything that I've done so far. So you can look back in my playlist, my Jeep Wrangler videos or my car videos. You can look back, you'll see them. Um, so yeah, so you'll see all the stuff that I've done so far. But like always, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.